So yeah, this whole idea of becoming a better person out or at the end of all of this really um, hit home with me. All of, all of these constraints that have been sort of created. Let me turn that into something good. Let me turn that into something positive. If you can kind of think of it as a positive thing. <laughs> I mean, honestly, at the end of the day, I want to be able to look at this footage and uh, and see my progress and see where I came from, see, you know, how things were, where I was at with my mind, with my thinking, with my projects, with my plans, with my ideas, all of that good stuff. Early on, when when people realize that it's going to be a really big deal, I... I mean, my, my company actually was very um, forward thinking about this and my management actually told us to work remotely on an indefinite basis, probably the last week of February, if not uh, by mid-February. So I can kind of appreciate that. Around that time, I listened to a few podcasts and... Uh, the ones that come to mind um, are Tim Ferriss' show and his uh, interview with Ryan Holiday. Another podcast is the James Altucher show. And the episode I'm thinking about is the one with Jim Quick, where they also talked about the pandemic and the things that you can do to stay productive, to not become depressed, to become actually a better person out of all of this. So yeah, this whole idea of becoming a better person out or at the end of all of this really um, hit home with me. The way I thought about it, it's like Aikido. Basically, I may be totally misquoting this idea here, but they have this theory or this philosophy of like using the negative energy of your opponent, basically turning it around back uh, against them. So... That's kind of how I thought about all of this, like all of this negative stuff coming from the the virus, all of, all of these constraints that have been sort of created. Let me turn that into something good. Let me turn that into something positive, if you can kind of think of it as a positive thing. A lot of people started saying that the days are becoming so blurry. I can't tell the difference. Is it a Tuesday or is it a Saturday? I, in a way could relate but at the same time to me there wasn't much of a difference because i was i kept working business as usual like i said in my previous video i was working from home at my regular job uh, probably half of the time anyway half of the week you know so didn't really uh, feel like a transition or anything like that i mean my job my deadlines my mm, requirements and everything that's expected of me stayed as is if not, maybe it even increased. So to me, the whole the days feel kind of blurry concept didn't really apply. But um, in the spirit of just like keeping a, a log of uh, where I am and uh, keeping track of my sort of progress and productivity, I started uh, just documenting everything in a notebook, in a simple paper notebook and I called it coronavirus diary. Well, I don't know if it's really truly a diary. It's more like um, something I did at the beginning of each day. So like every morning I would kind of reflect up on what happened uh, yesterday or at the end of the day, I would kind of think, okay, what did I do today? Highlights, I'm not talking about you know, writing long prose or anything of that nature. Just talking about uh, highlights of the day. Okay, I I um, did laundry, you know, took out the trash. I, I read uh, a chapter in this book. I uh, started a draft for this blog. I finished editing this video. I um, learned about this social media thing or I took this uh, online class. So basically that. So I started this notebook by a bit of a recap. So it uh, looks like 
310 until 410 is uh, what I talked about over here on these pages and looks like my first entry was on 410 and forward. So as far as this recap, I was talking about how the workout routine, I was able to maintain it and I added some pull-ups. I got myself a nice pull-up bar watched uh, quite a few movies as much as i love movies i never have time to watch them so looks like i've watched uh quite a few here oh what do we have over here oh no yeah i yeah i guess i watched that too i also um watched the godfather like all three uh parts so yep set up uh you know literally just like talking about anxiety if i have some anxiety talking about how my mom is like super anxious and nervous and i need to call her three times per day I mean, do what you got to do for, you know, for your mom and to make sure that she feels okay. Uh, flashbacks about USSR and Moldova. Oh, yeah, especially when I was uh, seeing all these people uh, in lines. And look, another one, roommates have been bailing, uh, which is good for me. But at the same time, I kind of feel sorry that they had to leave and they had their reasons. Um, guitar, I, you know, kind of my my love for it came back learned uh, the solo from fade to black and have like a bunch of other things that i wanted to learn yeah <laughs> too much coffee i guess i've been drinking too much coffee um one other realization that came to my mind and um this is kind of an interesting one and i hope you guys can relate for me i am involved in many different things at once i have a whole list of uh of side projects or side hustle, whatever you want to call them. For me, that's how I work. That I, I like to be focused, but at the same time, I work on something for a little bit and then I kind of lose interest or focus or um, inspiration. So I need something new to kind of take a breather. So for me, having all these different projects is actually great. And um, I guess I had this realization that Man, it is fine to be involved in all kinds of things. You know, if one day I just don't feel like playing guitar um, at that moment, cool, I can work on the social media for my nonprofit project. If not that, I can work on a vlog or on a blog post for thoughts on sticky notes. I can do so many things. I can work on my um, language learning uh, channel. It may seem like lack of focus, but it works for me. Um, oh yeah, and here's another one, The Great Courses Plus. That one is a very cool one because I um, wanted to feel like, like a student again. Back in school, I love learning and uh, The Great Courses Plus, they have a lot of cool courses about just uh, academic topics. It's not your lynda.com where you learn how to work better in Excel or even take a SQL course. It's more academic, like Introduction to Russian Literature or something like that so I like that everything else from from then on I mean this is like a very long entry um, I remember I listened to this podcast with Rick Rubin oh my god this one was so cool uh, I recommend to anybody especially artists to listen to that uh, sell the thoughts as, as I said this is the course I'm going to take um, and then here we go. These are those entries that I was talking about. Just like highlights of the day, nothing super involved. And sometimes I'm honestly like saying, I forgot to do this. Um, or sometimes it's uh, good things. For the last week, I've been waking up at 6.30. Um, it's more like, like I'm talking to myself in a way. It's just, uh, see, forgot to do this. But it helps me alleviate this feeling of um, the days are getting blurry, you know. And even if for an entire week I did not do this, for example, here, it's fine. I got back at it and kept going. Totally cool. If you feel like the days are getting blurry, if you feel like 
you want to analyze your day and that will help you feel like you are not just wasting or spending your time irresponsibly which actually if you want to just rest that's fine too i'm not saying you should be productive all the time but if you want to feel productive then that's one way to do it oh by the way what is this what is this this is part of my standing desk setup oh yeah amazon and usps cardboard boxes there you go i made an instagram post about it by the way Thoughts on Sticky Notes is my Instagram account name. I'm not saying anything here. But you can follow me on Instagram. <laughs>